All right, guys, so today our delivery of our siding comes in. We went ahead and changed it up and we decided to go with the zip system. I'm sure we're gonna get some trolls down below in the comment section saying, oh, why are you doing zip? Zip is so bad, look at this, this, that. And we're like, get out of here. Whatever, if you don't like zip, don't do zip. Replace it with plywood and then you can wrap it after. It's not a huge issue, okay? I did zip, so comments aren't a change in my mind. <laughs> it's just about nine foot tall here with the joist, so we're gonna wanna cover that whole thing up. So when I initially accounted for how many boards I needed, I didn't account for that extra top foot that we'll have to put on. Uh, so I went ahead and ran to Lowe's this morning, got a couple boards. That way we'll, we won't be short when we side this thing. Uh, so I have those two boards, I'm gonna get started now. Uh, turn the air gun down to 70 PSI so I don't blow through this zip system. Uh, then you have to seal it all in and it really creates a big issue. Uh, and it's a lot less work if you can get those nails flush. So I went ahead here and put a two by four down the bottom, just in the center of this uh, placement here. And that way it'll help hold it up exactly where I want it. Uh, and I can tack it in and then I can get the rest of the nails secured. Make sure you check out the series up here of our 14 by 14 edition. We're doing the whole thing from digging the holes to the roof to finishing. Make sure you tag along with us. All right, going up decently quick. Uh, I'm just using the handsaw to do this because with the longer blade, it's kind of easier to keep it straight uh, when cutting out the windows. A lot of pros use routers. I don't have a setup for that right now. So we're just using that. We only have three windows well, we and a door. So four cutouts. Um, the Lowe's guy just came with the delivery and I look outside and I was like, man, I don't know if all the wood's there. And especially after last time when some of the wood was left out, I walk up and I was like, is that drywall? It was drywall. Somebody else's order. Uh, my order was not on the truck, but he came here. So I think he's going to get it and then he'll be back and we'll get the rest of this knocked out hopefully.
All right, guys, so we just got that up. We had to put our one foot top piece up there, uh, but we got it finished off. I'm gonna get everything done real fast and then tape it off after. Uh, just think it's gonna be easier to do. That way there's no more dust involved and everything. So uh, let's go to the other side. This would definitely be easier if you had a second person. All right, so on that last side, I didn't land the uh, board on the stud. So the side, we're gonna make sure we don't skip that, get that right this time, so we don't have to place any more extra studs to fill it in. We just got all the plywood zip up and uh, I'm pretty darn happy with it. I had to remove that first step to flash the inside of there, but that's all done now. I got it put back on and basically, I think it looks pretty darn good. Tomorrow we will get out here and we will get at taping this whole thing, making sure we try to do it in the right direction, the horizontal, you know, the whole deal. So a certain step, you gotta do it. Uh, let's get out tomorrow and then get that thing done and then we'll start working on the roof. It's going super fast, uh, pretty happy. Hi. Boo! Let's go you guys. We're gonna start taping this. Uh, this stuff is super sticky and uh, you don't wanna mess it up because it's $30 for 90 feet. So let's see what we can do. Try not to ruin some tape, make it look nice, don't have the wrinkles. We're not doing this with the gun, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Make sure you watch uh, a video on how to apply this or read the manual. You're supposed to apply horizontally first. It's a special order, so I'm trying to do it the right way, but I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, oh, you taped that horrendously, so let me know down below. All right, so over here we're gonna tape the uh, sill first and we're gonna go into our corners and we don't have any stretch tape, so we're gonna kind of do it with this. Just a, another step. Some people do the stretch tape and can knock the whole bottom of the sill out with one giant piece, but that stuff is crazy expensive. So we're just gonna we'll go this side first. Place it halfway on the bottom Bring it all the way over. You can use your speed square to get it right up nice and tight to the uh, framing there. Press it in and go up. And now we're going to come out a little bit of the ways on the tape and just slice it on the corner. And then when you stretch it out, this stuff will stretch around the corner a little bit. to cover that outside. It's also, you're also gonna come down and do another uh, piece on the bottom, so. All right, so we have that there.
We're gonna do a couple extra pieces on this corner. to try to give it a little bit more protection. Now we're going to do the bottom. Now I went ahead and flashed this window, the whole thing around, um, just because I'm not putting the windows in right away. But if you put the windows in, you technically don't have to do the inside. Uh, you would just do the the sides around the window, and that would that would make it tight. So uh, just make sure you read that manual. It'll tell you what to do. So we're doing this because the windows aren't going to be in right away.
All right, guys, that was a little bit sketchy on this ladder right here because it's just a little bit angled and it's kicking it out a little bit. But we got it done all nice and tight. And over here, we got our horizontals that we had to do uh, to finish this cap right here. We just got a few more verticals. And then down here by the stair is already wrapped. And then we got to do the wall, door frame, and the top cap. So let's get to it. It uh, doesn't take too long, but we're just trying to make sure it's nice and uh, properly done. You don't want a lot of freaking folds in there uh, or else it's not going to do what it's designed to do. So take your time, make sure it's nice and smooth. guys so everything is placed rolled and wrapped um, got everything nice and tight in there I just went ahead and did my sills so those are all set I'm pretty darn happy with this thing overall this system wasn't too hard I used some help last night but you are able to do it yourself um, at least on a first story thing and uh, takes a little bit more work but Really didn't have too many uh, issues with the nails. There are some that we could maybe apply some putty to, so I'll probably go online and order some of that, just so we can fill in some of these uh, bigger punches. And then, you know, I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue right now, but if we're looking for longevity in this whole system, uh, sealing it is key. So, ordered some of that liquid flashing, that way we could top it off. But I'm super happy with it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching with us. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out as we grow our homestead and we love to grow with you.